Oh, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can cook a steak using nothing but the heat from inside a compost pile. Compost piles actually get really hot because of microorganisms within the pile that break down the organic material, releasing heat. To avoid killing important bacteria, a compost pile should get up to no more than 160 degrees Fahrenheit. These high temperatures can be reached if the pile is big enough and has the right balance of carbons and nitrogens for the microorganisms. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up a steak and some other foods, dig into a compost pile, put them in there, and leave them there for a full day. All right, so we got our sweet potatoes, eggs, chocolate cake, and most importantly, we have some steak. So let's throw these into the holes, cover them up, and see if it cooks. Man, it was a bad idea to do this in Texas. It is really hot. So now we got everything placed in the piles, and then cover them up with dirt, and then leave them sitting for a day and see if it cooks. Okay, so it's been a day, so let's go dig it up and see if this worked. I think my hands are too big for the gloves. Oh no, <laughs> I ripped the fucking glove. Here we go, I'm ready. Okay, let's start with the eggs and see if we got a nice hard boiled egg in there. Ooh, it's hot. Let's take a look. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it looks like they've cracked and have not cooked. Sorry, I'm loving it. Off to a pretty bad start. Uh, not very promising, so let's move on. <laughs> this is so gross. All right, cake, where are you? Oh, here it is. Feels pretty soft. All right, let's see if it cooked. <laughs> cake did not cook either. Might have been too much batter. This might be a failure. Let's move on. We got the potatoes. Okay, well they feel pretty soft. I think I'll definitely give these a try. Time for the ultimate test, the steak. Come on, where are you? Oh, this one's really hot. Fingers crossed. Aha! All right, so you can see it's got some nice brown color to it. Got the juices flowing out. I uh, can't wait to try this bad boy. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the sweet potatoes and see how those turned out. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got a nice crunch to it. Feels like it's been cooked. So the eggs did not work. They got smashed at some point, so I don't think I will be trying these today. No thanks. Hi, buddy. This guy just walked over here. He must have smelled the delicious aroma of my home-cooked meal. <laughs> not for you, sorry, buddy. The cake didn't really cook. It got thicker, but it's pretty liquidy throughout. <laughs> Looks like poop. All right, let's try the steak. This is the main course. You got a nice, tender, juicy steak. It's nice and browned on the outside. Got a little color on the inside, but it's still fully cooked. Oh man, yeah, that's good. It's weirdly perfectly cooked. It's got a nice smooth texture. I would give this steak a nine out of 10 when it's not covered with flies. I'd say this was a success. I'm gonna eat another piece. I might finish this whole steak. This is my dinner right here. <laughs>